fixed cup car here at Michigan International Speedway. Uh, I don't know what to, uh, I have no idea what split them in. I will figure that out until afterwards, but we'll go put some, uh, put a qualifying lap down and uh, see where we end up. I've got overlays, not where they belong. Exit's clear. We've got two laps to get the job done, mate. <coughs> that middle groove is... The track temperature is falling. It's now 97 very Fahrenheit. Very quick. If you can keep in it. Not running all the way on the bottom, but... Running somewhere up near that, around the middle of the, uh, middle of the track. Let's try to carry about as much speed as we can get off this corner. And we're going to go down to the start finish line. And we'll drift her back up by the wall. Fastest lap for Horton, 39.8. Got a little bit faster, let's see if we can keep it in this turn. The leader has just done a 39.6. Still outside the top ten. Could be semi fast. I'm pretty sure there's thirty nines, so yeah. Which means nobody else is qualified. <coughs> pretty qualified. Pretty much qualified last. Out of all the cars that are. All the cars that are here. And then, despite the fact that those two. position. I feel I'm pretty decent about that. Uh, I'm pretty decent about that qualifying lap. I don't know that I ran up any close to a 40 flat, so I'm more interested in uh, just exactly where, uh, where this is going to put us. Kind of hoping that driving it to the bottom and just getting off the throttle and rolling it down to the all the way down to the bottom white line and then picking it back up, come off the corner is going to be the fastest way to uh, to do this. Michigan's kind of like the last one that we did, which was what. Uh, That's the end of the session. Fourteenth.
closer to Talladega last time. Where was I at? Next to Indy. Where's the other? Okay, Legacy Kentucky Speedway. I felt like because it's close to Legacy Kentucky that we will want to run a similar line. I don't know if that that's even remotely accurate, but I felt like I did a pretty good job of arcing it down into the corner, getting to the bottom, driving off the corner, saving my tires, and we went green for almost the entire run, which was only like 30-some laps, but I think it's a little bit smaller track. And we ended up staying... They ended up actually being faster than the uh, everybody else come the end of the race and was actually running people down, so... so that's kind of what I was hoping for as far as a repeat. Similar track. But I think the draft might be... Draft might be important, and if I lose cars and don't follow them... E14, the track temp is 99, the air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Do not want to punish that right front. It's a little loose. Follow car here. number 09. And after a few laps, it starts. Can probably put down those qualifying laps for about five laps and five to seven laps, and then you will heat that right front up so bad that there's no. You're not going to be able to stay with anybody. You're going to push real bad going to the corner. Right front's not going to get any grip, and you're just going to wave to everybody who's just going to drive past you, drive by you, just drive away from you. I'm hoping a really a smoother steering ratio, the lowest one that we can do, and changing the brake bias down a little bit and then trying to make sure I remember to adjust the brake bias down after at least a click every five laps, five to ten laps, or like two clicks every ten laps to keep the car under light braking turning down into the corner. As long as I don't finish last, that's all I really care about. Just don't want to be last. We'd like to keep the incident points to a minimum. Just want to run around out here and try to get a little bit of experience. Here we go, get ready. Green, green, green. A little bit of a jump. Car inside. Right? Hold your line. Clear inside. Inside. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Peters is now leading. Clear inside. Got a car low. Starts okay. Now find your groove. We're going three wide. You're on the outside. Car inside. Inside's clear. Ooh, that wall sneaks up on you pretty quick. Eighteenth. Car down low. Still there. Damn, twenty-three. Clear low. Yeah, inside. A bit of a mission. Kind of jumped that start pretty good, driving Still there. before everybody went green. Still there. Yeah, he's trying to win in the first ten laps. He's still there. Well, that's Hold good, your line. It? Clear inside. Car inside. Still there. Still there. This race is only ten laps so long, right? <laughs> he's still there. He's still there. Yeah, let him burn his shit up. Still there. Clear inside. Inside. Inside's clear. Car low. Still there. 
Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Three wide, you're on the outside. Car low. P19, clear low. It's really not a bad bet to bet on a caution, though. It'll happen. That lap was at 40.3. That's your quickest lap. Carlo. Still there. Clear low. Car inside. Hold your line. Still there. Clear inside. A big shout out to Kai gets his alt count, Kai Quilla. Alright. Kind of straightening stuff out now. Let's see if we can. Jordan. You're up, brother. All good. Car down low. Clear low. He said clear, and then you were inside of me, so sorry, buddy. Inside. No harm, no foul. Still there. Still there. Clear inside. The gap in front has increased to 1.0. Carlo. Clear inside. Carlo. Don't do Still there. About 20 more laps. Clear of inside. No, no, it's first into the wall. P19, you've just done a 40.8. Car down low. He's still there. Still there. Clear low. Sorry about that nine. I had to check up a little. Set me up the track. It's all good. P20. You've just done a 40.8. I feel like I'm driving this a little harder than I was potentially planning on. Your lap times are pretty consistent. I didn't know where three was.
Got a car low. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear low. Inside. He's still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Clear low. Twentieth place. You've just done a forty one point nine. We starting to bottleneck everybody else up here was driving like a maniac early on? Might be alright. I don't know when a guy comes inside you like this, that's stupid. But what the fuck do I know? Car inside. Still there. Still there. P21. Still there. Inside's clear. Car outside. He's still there. I don't know what the fuck happened there. Hold your line. Anymore. Still there. Clear high. The guy in front is more. Oh, we go to the front. P22. That lap time was 42.2. That was all me, nine. Ooh, got that Michigan strap. Ooh, time to get loose. That lap was a 41.9.
was really bad. Don't do that. Lost so much speed coming off the turn. We have to stay, stay up in the higher grooves. There's the 23 car, flying through the middle of the pack at the very beginning of the race. 22nd place. <laughs> you like that, huh? I like all that shoving going on. Car high. Still there. You're clear outside. 20 more laps, I'm gonna have to put my spare tire on. <laughs> Oh, that was some push. Oh, good save, Eight. Wow. Good save. Inside. Hold your line. He's still there. Clear inside. Carlo. Clear inside. That lap was at 42.5. Hello. He's still there. Clear inside. <coughs> Just need to take it easy here a little bit. These tires ain't going to get any better. 21st. The gap to Chilton ahead is now 0.8. <clears throat> Just not overdriving the turn. Use the brake to get to the bottom. Don't get back to the throttle too early. Actually, somewhat getting back to that throttle is actually loosening the car up. Just that lap time was 42.4. Breaking loose. That's bad news. Then you're gone. Ah. We 
can take a little bit of that strain off the right front. Try to be a little easy on it here. I'm going to need it. And actually, if I drop my left sides down onto that slightly different banked bottom part there, I feel like it does loosen the car up a little bit. If nothing else, it's just going to help it turn a little bit better. Just, just the left sides, though. I am kind of fighting it loose off the corner. You can feel it just a little bit. Kind of getting away from me. It might be burning that right, burning my right sides up a little bit. Maybe the right rear. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. What happened to you? Behind is now 0.7. B20, that was a uh, 42.6. Thanks for the room, Seven. No problem. That last lap was a forty two point five. Consistency, keep them coming. I think I brought my stuff up. It's a little disconcerting. Definitely wanted to let this guy go because I think he just came down the thing, got tired, so. That was great. P18, your lap time was 42.9. Honestly, it might as well we haven't had a caution yet. We almost had one. We came up on some slow traffic back here and, uh, I uh, tried to stay high, and he just, whoever it was, they just kind of came up a little bit. I don't even think they saw me coming. No, that was my fault, 13. Uh, seven ran me for some reason, and just as you passed me, the, I got the black flag damage, and my car turned right. So I apologize. Yeah, I... I got up too far up into the wall there and it grabbed me. And I didn't mean to hit you like that, but I'm sorry. I'm surprised we didn't get a caution out of that. There's a car leaving the pit lane. Was that 42.6? I had the only one that says, my spotter says, easy on the right front. 
the way they... Yeah. Sorry guys, that was my fault. Had to check. Car inside. Push. Sorry about that. Still there. Still there. Clear low. I've never puckered so much in my life. B-19. This won't be too bad oh, if this is a fairly boy. high split. Debris on the track. Their car's on the track. <laughs> Somebody whack that uh, cone down there up onto the track. Sorry about that. Fucking nice. I got in the throttle and it burned. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I got into you. Well, yeah, we're just racing this guy. I just need to figure out how to get back around. That was a uh, 42.8. Jake, you probably gonna be catching me up in here. I'm gonna let you go on the back stretch. Yep, and now look at you. This car can't make up its mind. It doesn't want to be tight, doesn't want to be loose, just make up your damn mind. Go ahead, Jonathan, you can pass me on the other side, buddy. Still there. Clear high. The guy behind's catching. The gap's now 0.1. There you go, Jake. Dropping that brake bias, trying to get a little God bit better turn out of it. Time I've done that today. Push, push, push. We can get this position. Time was at forty three point zero. You can only pinch me down so much, twenty three. Waiting, waiting for him to run me outside. Our tire model on this car is. Unrealistic as shit. Twenty three foot. This also is the uh, old layout, so it's the old asphalt. Can be more basic. Full course caution, be careful. Oh man! Yeah, the 23 has been racing like a dumbass for the last 10 laps for 23rd, so. Couldn't let it go. Damn, Lilith, you were gonna win that too. Yeah, 23 was just driving like a jackass the whole race, dude. I don't know what his deal was, man. 
it was just blocking and just... Pace cars out. Pits are closed. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind car number 12. Why don't you get here and drive like that? Yeah, he threw a block down the front stretch after he hit the wall and was going like 40 mile an hour fucking faster than him. I don't know if it's a bit of an exaggeration, but yeah, that's uncalled for. No, we were going 40 miles an hour faster than That's not an exaggeration. Hey, five, uh, great racing there for third. So that was you behind me then when that happened, right? Oh yeah, I saw it coming. It's are open. Ten laps. Checking up into three, checking up into three. Everyone push up. 1327, that's my bad. Come on, let's myself. That may have been one of the most fun racing I've had for a third spot finish. Up to the pit cruise now. Ooh, bold. The leader, oh, Peters, yeah. is pitting. Oh god. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Twenty. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Camera, did you take two tires? The last five races I've been in, there's been fucking cautions within the last two laps. Why is that? Bigger question is, why did I not just stay out if someone was going to stay out on old tires? We're fucked. No, someone, someone did two tires. Anyone who did anything but four tires? and it's in the front, we're fucked. Now, you gotta be more optimistic than that. Alright, qualifying laps. <clears throat> nah, cause it's gonna cause a, a fucking cluster shithole. Full course yellow, pits are open. Or, he ends up winning the race because you guys wreck in the back on the restart. In the army, we used to call that a cluster fuck. Oops, can't say that, can I? Yeah, Race cars coming in this lap. I was gonna say closer fuck, but you know. Don't spend the tires here on the restart. Hey yeah, guys, let's just be safe so we can actually finish so that way those guys get the punishment of not taking tires. It would only be one person. Well, let's make that one person pay. <laughs> Everyone up here got at least two. First one person. Did it. The first card not fit. Yeah, he did. He only took two. He took. Oh boy. You may have seen me up there earlier, but I was a lucky dog. I just need to not get a four X, please. When, when that guy takes off, he'll come right to the inside. He's going to get all messed up. Just hold your line. Don't try to block, Cameron. He has to hold his um, hold his position. Otherwise, uh, second place gets the black flag. Just be slow, guys. Just get through turn one and two. You'll have nothing out of that. Green flag. Car inside. 
Hold your line. Still there. Inside's clear. Got a car low. He's still there. He's still there. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear low. Watch that 23 target. White flag, one more lap. Inside. Fuck Car down low. P22, clear low. I know. Yeah, I know, right? Seriously. What the fuck? That, that, that purple car got loose or hit the wall and just came down. I don't know. Nice win. I got really, really loose. Oh, the fucking idiot. The 22 fucking plowed him in the back. Yeah, it was a 23 car, but probably. 23 car. Learn how to drive. No, that was definitely from the fucking 11. Not holding the brake. What are you doing, guy? Come back down the track like that. Maybe he was holding the brake. Go look. You guys weren't talking about me, are you? Uh, my number on my car is 23, but I'm driving the Budweiser car, right? I don't think I disrespected anybody, are you? No. What a finish that was. Yeah, it says I'm the 25 car, but I usually have a, a number 23 on my car. I'm going to grab Budweiser. Yeah, it was a wild finish. I, I tried to keep the wheel as straight as possible so I could hit the wall flat. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get through without any accidents, and I got a cheat because I hit the wall at the end there. That'd have been nice. Bad though, guys. It was fun racing with you. Nice win. Gentle reminder to hold the brake when you get in an accident, though. Ain't no reason to come all the way across the track like that. Who, me? No, the nine car. He got spun out in that thing. I can understand he might have been pissed off and uh, just stopped caring, but uh, the, the like no brake holding against the wall and then comes all the way across the track from the outside wall to the inside was uh, uh, not, not helpful. Yeah, it causes everybody else to get infinite. Just... Just to let you know, when you're at speed like that, even if you're holding the brake, and you're still going to slide down the hill because you're stopping at like 120. So, I, you can't fault him for that. It's just a wreck. It happens. Yeah. See you guys in the next race. <laughs> Do that again. You guys are at your hey, I'll, I'll apologize for my part in that wreck. I just. Was trying to get by him and he got sideways and I couldn't stay off of him.
No good in my book, bud. Okay, what any of them say? He didn't hold his brakes. If he had held his brakes and he slid down yeah, through the trouble, then there's nothing else. Sure, it wasn't what I wanted to do. It cost me probably six or seven spots, too. I had a. Uh, uh, funny thing was, I had run them down from six seconds back, and then they do that. up against the wall. There's no uh let's see this. There's the other view. I can see his hands. After you get spun, they get pissed off and they just don't they don't care. They got taken out, they're gonna take everybody they can get out. If they can get somebody to shove them across the line before a bunch of other cars. There was no reason to turn down like that. You keep the car against the wall. And not turn down in front of cars like that. Disappointed more than I am mad at him, but one car up, I feel like went up the block, the 22, and then got loose in the doing of it, and then takes out the innocent number nine car that had nothing to do with any of that crap, and they stick up against the wall turns down so we can come back across traffic. Uh, yeah, there you lock the brakes up once the wheel stops spinning like that. Just doing some wild stuff, ain't nothing happening, ain't nothing happening, and then they hit the brakes here. There they are. Now he's just going in a straight line. So I'd use the brakes, just not when they should have. It's a bummer. It's open for not having those uh, incident points. Just trying to keep a run on the outside to carry that speed, and then all all hell breaks loose. Well, I might have had a. Two no more spots, but I didn't have to. If, if that guy stayed up against the wall, I could have hammered on it there and stayed. Uh, did anybody else pass me in this moment? After I hit him, lost one, two, three. I lost three spots. Lost three spots because that guy came down the track. That would be a lesson there, but I don't do that. I'll ruin everybody else's race just because you're pissed off you got turned. Have some integrity and keep the car up against the wall. You might have been wherever you were, but you ain't, you ain't up there anymore. You lost a whole bunch of spots. Just keep the car against the wall. Just let it keep rolling along the wall. You eventually cross the start finish line. Somebody punch him behind the crowd. 
across the line. Spinning. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Still happens in the blink of an eye. to go. Made it through a lot of spinning chaos. That guy's still spinning down there. I'm just like, can't go up there, can't go up there. It's just turned down into me. Dang it. Well, we banged up the wild car, but Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go see what split that was. How far up or how far back were we? Were we just fighting with a bunch of crappy people that sucked, or were we up there racing with people that were better? Yeah, we're definitely not in the first. They're not. There's no way. 2.5k. We're not in the top split. There's no way. Uh, let's see here. Let's pull the race up and see how many splits there were. Second split. Split numero dos. Got the asterisk next to that one, so we're in the second split. We went with the top dogs, but we're in the second one. And still a bunch of ridiculous crap happens. Four and seven points. That's not too bad. I only lost point oh seven. But it ain't much better than. Digger, I got four instead of points, lost point oh seven on that one too. We keep that from happening. Well, I think that's all I got here. The GR uh, uh what was it? I racing GR Cup. I do not have that track this week, so uh, I already did uh, the Pro Four off road uh trucks pro off road racing series fixed uh, for this one so uh, at this point we just go practice for whatever the GR Cup uh, goes to next which is I'm gonna need some practice there. Alright, this isn't an easy. This is an easy track. These guys are pretty good. So that's what we'll end up doing is uh, practice for the GR Cup. So, I'll have to practice that for next week. Cup cars are going to be cup cars going to be where next week? Week five. Interesting uh, 
interesting track for us to use the new cup cars on. Whew, that's gonna be fun. Alright, that is all for now.